Okay, hey YouTubers, here's what I did to get the yellowing off my rig. Just a quick disclaimer, this is what I did. If you guys go and do this method on your rig and you screw it up, that's your own damn fault, not mine. My truck, my rig is a 1996, she's like 30 years old or something, do the math. It's yellowing, I don't care how it turns out. Just so happened that it works awesome to strip your surface and prep it for zip floor polish or just to get the yellowing off your rig like mine, super yellow, super grimy. Hasn't had any love since it was born, all right? So here's what it took. Took just a second. I hope you watched the video. Um, if you like it, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you never know when I'm going to put up a new video with something. So thanks for watching. All right. Okay, check it out, guys. All right, so I've seen a million videos on YouTube about stripping your RV. How do you get it super, super shiny? But before that, we need to get the surface prepped. So here's what I did. And if you have a yellowing uh, gel coat like mine, you're gonna wanna check this out. All right, and I'm gonna show you the rig real quick of what I'm working with. But it's a fiberglass gel coat, it's yellowing, and it's coming off real easy. And here's what I'm doing. All right, here's the rig. Walk over here and see if you can see this. Of course, it's on video, super hard to see. So, there's the yellowing right here. You can see it all up and down the rig. Um, Trying to get good video. But where you pull the stripes off, there you go. How's that? See, here's the, I removed the stripes here, the graphics, and here's the yellowing. This rig is a 1996, so it's old. It's yellowing, looks terrible. If you want to restripe this we got to get that off that's years and years of wax and dirt and everything and everybody's having a hard time getting it off and um, what I'm doing to make it look from that to that I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing all right for starters I'm using an electric DeWalt sander yeah it's electric it's raining outside I don't care it's cool I've been zapped before you're not gonna get shocked with this probably all right, with that, then we go over here, we've got the green, green scrubbies, green scrubby pads, Home Depot, okay? I just trimmed it to fit the palm sander a little bit better, that's all. So I put that on the palm sander so uh, you don't have to work your arms. We're going to use Zep floor, floor Stripper, okay? And I use it 100%, full strength, all right, into the bottle. Does not have to be Zep. Anyway, all right, so let's go over here so I can show you no time lapse. There's our yellowing, okay? There's some of the old words up here. We had a south wind storm up here. So we're going to spray this on here full strength, okay? Full strength. Is that floor stripper? At first, it turns yellower. Look at that. See how yellow that is? Look at that. Okay, just turn it on there. Now, right now, again, it's sprinkling out here. Do this when it's nice and cool, so it gives it just a minute to um, work. All right. Now I'm going to take my pad. I'm going to stick it on here. And this is the loop, the loop stuff, all right? Um, Velcro. Let's just stick it on there. All right. Now, I'm gonna come up here, put on a rig.
See, it got all foamy. Now, let's go over here and grab this hose. All right. All right. Then rinse it off real quick. All right. Now that's just one pass. All right, you can do more passes. You can barely feel where the decals were but it got all the wax. It's super smooth. It got all the wax, all the grime and dirt. Now I'd follow this up with a dilution of TSP. When I was done, I got to do the whole rig, but it only took a moment to do a, a two by two square, you know? But look, there's the yellow before and there's after, it just took a second. But you could feel that, you could feel how clean it is and all them waxes are off of there and all that years and years of grime, okay? So, Anyway, yeah, thought I'd share that with you guys. Hopefully it helps you out. If you like that, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Like it, whatever. I put stuff on here every now and then. So maybe I'll come up with something real cool about something else I can show you. All right, so that's it, guys. I hope you liked it. Um, go ahead and like my channel and subscribe to it if you like it. Um, every now and then I put up new videos and... Hopefully I can help you out. All right, later.